them days they called Junction City a lot of names. Junktown, Hoville. Why, you could address a letter Sin City, Kansas, and they know to deliver it to us. <laughs> Why? Well, hell, cause of us, cause of our street. Oh yeah, they, they gamble down there, they bootlegged, and, and them gals did turn tricks for them soldiers, but uh, you gonna have that in an army town. See, Junction City was the way it was because of them 20,000 soldiers stationed outside of town at Fort Riley. Military payday is big money, baby. That money turned a little country town like this into a boom town. The street served us black GIs of the 9th and 10th Cavalry. The world famous Buffalo Soldiers, which I was a proud member of. If that street hadn't been down there, we had nowhere to go. We gone crazy. It was one whole block of black owned businesses. Negroes. It was our Harlem in Kansas. Anything a colored man wanted, he could get down there. <laughs> yeah, I love that old street. Yes, yeah, everybody. And in them days, I love me some wine too. There it is. Friday night, payday, party time. Soldier money burns in them jokers' pockets, boy. Them soldier boys spread the word about the street, see? That's how the legend grew. Soldiers parted down there from all over the country. Then they go all over the world talking about the times they had. From Heidelberg, West Germany, to Seoul, South Korea, to Japan, to them Philippine Islands. You knew you'd been on honor ground when you snapped your fingers and shook your behind on the internationally acclaimed, world-renowned block known as Nice Street.